How's it going guys, Jaxer here and today I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate the VNM pedals. Obviously this is a very kind of particular guide setup. This may be only for a, be for a handful of people, but if I can only help one or two people, worth it. So when you download your VNM software, obviously you're going to get that from the website. Um, there's two things that get downloaded. One of them is a flash program and one of them is the config. The config's a bit odd. If you move it out of the folder it comes with, it, it starts to go iffy and starts to create new files. So when you extract it and you open the config for the first time, treat the folder as the config file. So you just use the config exe. You can still press Windows and search up config. That's going to spot it'll it'll pop up. But you will have to flash your hardware. The program tells you exactly what to do. The website tells you what to do. You have to put your the switch in one position, plug it in, flash it push it back it's done very simple just do it step by step take your time and be careful with it uh, just so you don't have to move because you're gonna have to get up go behind your rig or whatever depending on how well set up you are might be easy might not be so easy so once you have it set up there's a few tricks you can do to calibrate your wheels so I'm gonna uncalibrate them let's say um, so here's my pedals now that's my throttle my brake and my clutch so let's just start off with the throttle. When you have the throttle, you're gonna press obviously calibrate. Now, there's a lot going on here, so it's not entirely obvious. We're gonna press calibrate, we're not gonna press anything. The minimum button is, ba is where the pedal is when it's at 0%. So if I start to pull this pedal back, technically I'm pulling it a little bit towards me, it's relieving the load cell of pressure or the, the sensor of pressure, so it's um it's not a true zero anymore you definitely don't want to have this because that means you're going to have a dead zone and a dead zone you can't get rid of in the simple dead zone settings so we're going to finish and we're going to recalibrate so here we are at this new minimum and we're going to press it down until we get just to the backstop which is right here that's it don't press in too hard into the backstop just when you hit it. that's all you want we're going to press finish and now I'm going to gently press it down here. We can see values and just at the backstop is when it's done. So that's perfect. Next, we're going to go into our brake. We're going to calibrate it. So I'm going to rest my foot on it. I'm going to press it down until I get to my threshold that I've set. I'm going to push a little bit more done. That's it. And then basically now once I press my threshold, my threshold I want it to be at 80% and by what I mean by threshold is when I press my brake it presses and then I get to a harder spot where I need to press even harder in my case it's I have a blue spring and then I have a yellow and a red elastometer so it's a fairly strong setup but I have fairly strong legs so that's what I want and that's kind of why I picked these pedals because it has a 200 kilogram load cell and it's very very strong so that's why I went for them but that's what I mean so once once the blue spring compresses then it's all on the elastometers and it's a much more tougher resistance that doesn't compress as much. So I'm going to recalibrate it. I'm going to press onto my threshold and then just a little bit more. Now, let me see. There we go. 80%, 80%, 80%-ish. 80 do you know what I mean? We can tell on the graph here. Now, obviously, I'm cheating because I can see the graph, but... I have much more control. I don't want it hitting 100% easily. I like it just pretty much in this range. I can work with that. Same again for the clutch. Calibrate all the way down to the bottom. Lift, press finish. It's calibrated. Now here, I was a bit lazy. I didn't press all the way to the bottom. Don't have, I didn't, I didn't do it properly. So we're gonna calibrate, press. I'm at the bottom, finish. There we go, all the way down. So now next up is dead zone. So let's say I press my brakes and I'm resting my foot on the throttle. Here's my throttle and I'm barely resting on it here and it's actually giving me input. We don't want that. And let's see what it looks like in eye racing. So um, let's say I'm coming down a main straight. I go to brake, off the brakes, on the throttle. Again and again. So one thing we've noticed here is that I need a dead zone on my brake because if I just rest my feet on the pedals, this is what I get. 
and these are just one or two percent it's not a lot it looks large here in the grands in this scale it's not a lot but that's the purpose of these little bars down here to show you if you are at that one percent range we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're going to set a dead zone and you can click it and then you can click let's say one two three i do that on my brakes one two sorry one two three takes a second there we go and press save now let us see how it's working we're going to recalibrate our pedals always recalibrate your pedals before you do tests or before you head back into a race now there we go i'm resting my foot i'm not getting that on the throttle i'm getting something very light on the throttle so to be honest i wouldn't like that i'm going to recalibrate the throttle there we go 12.7 Gonna push down to the backstop, press finish. And here we go. I can rest my foot on the throttle, doesn't do anything. Same for the brake. We want the same. There, I'm actually really resting my foot now on the brake. Because that's usually the most comfortable place to leave your foot is on the brake. But when I lift and I want to trail brake all the way down to nothing, even with what I perceive as to be little pressure, I can still hold a super small level of braking down here it looks kind of cool it looks like the worm there we go anyway that's that sorted so once you have these calibrated you have your dead zone set there's one more thing you can do for your throttle a lot of people do this they just reduce the throttle a little bit this is all done by freehand so you can't see it in real time you have to press save what this does is if you reduce the throttle dead zone on the top end It'll stop you from accidentally not being at 100% going down a main straight. So if you just get rid of a few percent, for me, this is what it looks like. It's somewhere in this range. You want to get rid of a few percent. So even if you lift the throttle a little bit, like I'm doing right now, but you can't see it, it stays at 100%. And if I lift even more, then it starts to go down. You don't want to do this too much because in some corners, you got to modulate. you got to modulate the throttle like this. Sometimes you just want a little lift. So if you have too much of a dead zone, and then you do a little lift, you can probably hear it. Nothing's happening. So I just leave it somewhere around here and that gives me a nice top end dead zone. That means I'll never be kind of coming down a main straight and I won't be pressing it hard enough and I get something like this. That's pretty much it for calibrating the pedals. It is that simple. There is a lot of working with it um, and figuring out what your taste is. The best advice I have is don't set it too strong, even if you are have very strong legs, because there are parts in your leg that will probably blow, Such and that's happened to me before, such as the Achilles heel, there's the knee, there's the ankle, um, there's a lot of different muscles in the leg that you don't want to risk injury. And if you're using too much force, you can't finesse, you know? So you want to make sure that you're keeping it nice and easy, nice and gentle. It doesn't take too much force to break, but at the same time, we have strong pedals, so you want to make sure you're getting it out of them. So when you stab them, you're not over braking. So that's that's pretty much it for today's video. It's a simple video just talking about how to calibrate the VNM pedals. I'm going to have a video coming soon enough talking about my experience with the VNM pedals. Just a little commentary, just saying my review of having them for the past few months and what I think coming from the V3s, the Fanatex. And uh, yeah, so keep an eye out for that video. If you have any questions regarding this or software to do with the VNM pedals, let me know down. down ugh, let me down. Ooh. Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as quick as possible. And if you found this video useful, drop a like. And as always, thanks very much for watching.